this one, this is where, you know, a lot of the, I would say the heated conversations happen. This is a lot of DEI work happens in this space here around status power and how do we make sense of it? How do we unpack these memberships? Um, and that's been helpful for me to see it as membership and it's membership in a group that holds power. So as a group, um, I belong, you know, I am basically that guy, maybe a little bit younger, the guy on the screen there, right? I have all kinds of power with statuses in this world. Um, it also exists in a context and a time and place, right? And so there are societies, I'm sure places in the world that I travel to where I might not have the same level of status power, right? And so it is fixed in time and place. Uh, it's usually out of our awareness, right? especially when we have it, right? I'll say that again. So it's usually out of my awareness because I have it and it doesn't, I don't have to think about it, right? Oftentimes, if we don't have power in relationship, if we don't have status power, it's acutely obvious, right? We know that we don't have that level of status power in this environment and it impacts us. We, we feel that sense of loss of power. Um, so I've listed a few here. There's a bunch you know, we could probably list 20 or 30 different types of statuses from ability to class to, you know, ethnicity, sexual identity and orientation, language, age, you know, all of these pieces um, play out in, in this realm. 